Today I'm going to be drilling into the concrete floor and driving in some concrete anchors such as these Tapcons. Tapcon is a brand of concrete screw. They have a blue coating on them and they come in flat or hex in different sizes. So today I'll be demonstrating how to put on 2x4 wood to the concrete floor and this is just for demonstration purposes but you can you might have different reasons for driving in some of these things into the floor such as framing you might have a 2x4 framed wall that you'll be putting on the floor and you'll be fastening it to the floor with something like tapcons every 12 or 18 inches or so and then the top plate will be uh, fastened to the joist but you might have other reasons for putting something on the floor for demonstration purposes it's just a bracket I'll be using the smaller 3 16 screw and required different bits you need a hammer drill of some kind this is a corded one you can try to use a cordless one but I'm going to be using this because it has more power and it's quicker because this is a very dense very dense concrete compared to something like concrete block which is much softer. The hex one, you'll need something like a hex bit and either a socket wrench. You can use a power driver to drive down. Just be very careful at the end so you don't strip the hole. Instructions are to use for this quarter inch screw, I'll be using a 3 16 inch bit and then blowing out the dust. They do have a uh, vacuum. You can try to use a shop vac or a vacuum. Um, at the very least you have to make sure you drill deeper than the actual bit. So this is going to have to be pulled out a little bit because this needs to be deeper than this one for all that debris to fall down into and then try to get the, the dust out. You can try to blow it out. You use a vacuum to vacuum it out. Oh, the, the, uh, the wood or whatever you're putting in, you want to make sure there's a hole that is wide enough for the for the um, screw, so it clears it. You don't want to just drill or drive it right through. So that I have this, you can countersink it a little bit, so this is flush. If you don't, you can just use the hex head, which has a washer attached to it. If you don't care about it being flush, I find that the Torx Torx head for the flat screw is pretty strong and easy to drive it in. So let's drill some holes and let's demonstrate how to drill into your concrete floor and then drive tap cons to attach something to the concrete floor. Woo! <laughs> 